Uh, so my name is Jeremy Mahalik. I'm an associate professor of mechanical engineering and engineering and public policy. Uh, and I run the vehicle electrification group at Carnegie Mellon. Um, I got my doctorate degree from the University of Michigan and I've been looking at cars for a long time, but it was really at Carnegie Mellon that I became interested in the issue of converting our vehicle fleet to electric sources of energy. We look at large systems issues of electric vehicles, uh, including consumer adoption, the design of vehicle and battery systems, infrastructure, and the larger economic, environmental, and policy implications of vehicle electrification. We've had a couple of studies that suggest that our federal and state policies are targeting the wrong electric vehicles now. The current policies favor vehicles with large battery packs, such as battery-only electric vehicles. But it turns out if you look at the full life cycle, plug in hybrid electric vehicles with small battery packs that drive short distances on electricity and switch to gasoline for longer trips, are actually better for the environment. These vehicles offer more reductions in air emissions. They save more gasoline per dollar spent. They avoid being dependent on the construction of a massive network of charging infrastructure. And they're more likely to be adopted at mainstream levels in the near term, which can help create a market for automotive batteries that will drive down costs and make larger packs more competitive in the future. Vehicle electrification is one of these cases where attempting to leapfrog directly into a new paradigm in a single step may be counterproductive. If we instead take a path through intermediate uh, technology of hybrid vehicles, we can get more near-term benefits for the environment and national security at lower cost, with a lower risk of backlash from over-promising and under-delivering, while still keeping our options open in case a competing technology like fuel cells or natural gas vehicles causes us to rethink the future of personal transportation.